good morning everybody welcome back to house of cromel special edition delivery edition today <laughs> say good morning chuck good morning good morning and good morning bookie <laughs> you look so cute <laughs> Oh, you just gonna do all your little faces all right <laughs> um today is a very special day today is the date of my scheduled c-section to deliver baby camden yay we are very uh oh my nose is running a little hold on we are very excited <laughs> And probably a little nervous, but I'm more excited. I'm um, pretty calm right now. Um, but I'm very ready because Camden is very heavy. <laughs> and I am 39 weeks pregnant as of two days ago. So if you've ever been 39 weeks pregnant before and beyond, you may feel yes. my pain. Yeah. <laughs> So right now, we are taking Bookie to school, and um, I'm a little sad about it because I won't get to see him for a couple of days in person, um, but I know he'll be in great hands, and uh, yeah, so we're off. You can see the car seat is in there. No baby yet. Baby's still in the seat with me <laughs> but uh yeah this is the start of our journey to delivery so stay tuned get excited and we're excited and i'm excited that i can um can share this in this way um we definitely had some videos and clips of bookie and i i wish i had so much more but i wasn't vlogging back then either but i was recording so um i'm so happy to have those mem memories of when he was born and going through that process and i'm happy that i was able to put something together so we can remember it um in quite a bit of detail and he can look back on it and now we are doing this for camden too so and bookie's a part of it you see his shirt it came from target it says coolest does it say coolest brother or coolest big brother okay. it probably says coolest brother but e either way it's a cute shirt and he's been wearing it since off and on since the sprinkle because it's appropriate <laughs> all right we'll be back <laughs> we have made it to our labor and delivery room it is quite large I forget how large these rooms are but um, um it's very quiet right now we had a very great experience getting here as I was um, following the directions to get to labor and delivery at the hospital um, I guess they have kind of like a runner. <laughs> My husband just pulled up his phone. They had like this lady kind of running um, pregnant mommies to and from labor and delivery because it was quite a walk. It was quite a walk. I wasn't tired yet, but I was also happy to see her once I really saw how much longer we had to walk. <laughs> so um, we made it here. Um, the Piedmont Hospital in our area has a new women's center and we get to deliver here so that's exciting it's very nice i'm going to turn the camera and show you guys the room been excuse me in a second but i have changed into my hospital garb you know it's a robe <laughs> and i have some socks here hello Ooh, okay. Yeah. 
because I didn't have a fart. <clears throat> All right, a lot has happened. I'm in the bed now. <laughs> My nurse came in. They took a lot of um, pre-op blood and talked to a lot of medical history stuff and answered a lot of questions. And um, pretty soon, we're going to do an ultrasound just to check to see if baby boy Camden is still breech. Um, interesting enough, his heartbeat was a... Uh, it was very, still very strong in there, but it was hard to find. And um, in a different position than what I've usually been getting it from. But I haven't felt any dramatic, excuse me, movements to suggest that he may have turned. But we have to check just to make sure. So that is happening in a few. And um, from that point, it's just a waiting game. It's 10.37 now. My procedure is scheduled for 12.30, so we may be able to get a little nap in or something. <laughs> Charles may go get something to eat. Who knows? <clears throat> are you... <laughs> are you nervous? Mm -hmm. I'm not nervous. Well, a little bit, but, yeah. What are you feeling? Mm -hmm. I, I, well, I we know I you're mean. tired. Mm -hmm. No, I just... When she came. Hello? Hi! He was still in the middle of the C-section, so... Oh, okay. No worries. This is going to be stuff, though, um... Okay, that was our nurse that came in, but what were you... How were you feeling? No, I'm feeling good. Just a little... Slightly nervous. Yeah. 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 Especially when you're talking about the possibility of maybe being something. <laughs> Why does that make you nervous? Uh, you know, it's just... <laughs> Poor baby daddy. Poor husband. He trying to keep it together over there. He's very quiet right now. <laughs> and I'm trying to get comfortable. Um, I'm going to find it soon though and I also have gas. That's a good combo. Yep probably won't make that that statement probably won't make the vlog cut but <laughs> but yeah um that's it right now so i guess we'll be back at some point there's not too much going on right now we're just waiting and um and waiting to do the ultrasound to confirm um placement again and we'll go from there I think I'm going to shut my eyes for a second. I hope my husband does the same. Mm -hmm. How you feel? I'm fine. Do you, is there a blanket over there? No. All right. So the time right now is 12.44. And I am supposed to be in the OR. But a little update, something happened with um, a patient in front of me um, that was also having a C-section and it has caused some delays. So we won't, we'll be going in, I think they're saying no later than two, we'll see, but yeah. So we're here waiting and um, yeah, so far so good. I've gotten talked to a lot. Um, but yeah, we're here. We're waiting. Chuck is looking a little happier. A little less nervous. He's had some lunch. Yep. Feel better. <laughs> I'm glad he's a little less um uh, a little sorry, I had to take a Pepsi in my IV. And then I had this other thing that's supposed to neutralize my esophagus and stuff. All to help with digestion. It is, there's been a lot of big talk that before I even got here. Just around, as far as C-section recovery and experience, just around the digestive period, I guess. When you get opened up, 
lots of air and all kinds of things can happen. You land flat and they just try to make you more comfortable and pre prevent a lot of those things. So I'm learning a lot. This is really, honestly, I've never been, except for when I was a very small child, like cut open. I got my wisdom teeth taken out, if you want to count that. <laughs> Who knows? But we're still here. And hopefully in the next um, hour or less, we'll be headed over to um, deliver this baby. I'm technically not supposed to take video, but I'm going to ask Chuck to record anyway. <laughs> Behind the curtain, obviously. But, um, you know, we'll go try and the worst they could tell us to stop. But I want video, so we'll go from there. And um, if he if we don't get a lot of footage in the actual OR while the delivery is happening, um, Chuck gets to come back here and be with Camden in our room while I'm getting stitched back up, which I hope doesn't feel like an eternity, but I do hear it feels like an eternity, <laughs> cause uh, they, the 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 shortest part is the actually taking the baby out. My doctor said it's about five to eight minutes the nurse is like 10 minutes so you know somewhere around there and um then it's like another 30 to 40 minutes stitching you back up and um while that's going on with me my husband will get to be in here with baby Camden and so that'll be nice I do get to see him before he comes back into our room for recovering and um then we'll all be back together in another room down the hall soon after after about what, an hour or two yeah. Yeah. something like that so uh oh well, another interesting thing i there has definitely been well i'm not plugged up to the monitor anymore uh right now but i had like a whole uptick in Braxton hicks they just been coming back to not back to back but way more often than i have been having them and uh just way more like present i have been having them pretty none like you know i just felt like it was a little bit of discomfort but i would have some that were worse than others but while i've been at the hospital they have become more frequent they still aren't technically real contractions and i can say that because i i know what a contraction feels like like an actual labor contraction and these aren't it but it doesn't it, it's a new experience honestly because i didn't have i do not remember having braxton hicks with my first birth so i'm rambling i'm going to stop now and um we'll be back hopefully soon with the baby so yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> all right guys we'll be back I don't even know how to take pictures on this, to be honest yeah. with you. Hey, baby. Yeah. Okay. You doing that? <laughs> you doing that? All right, now. Uh. What's going on? Uh-huh. <laughs> how you feeling? Nervous. But Nervous? Yeah. Weird. Yeah. 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 Yeah, good. Camden OTW. Yes, right. We're about to pray. Let's do it. All right. So it's go time. Uh, the doctors just took, or well, the nurse just took uh, Carmel back to the OR. And uh, they're going to be great getting me in like the next 10 to 15 minutes to come back there with her. Um, so I'm gonna try to get some footage of what we can get, right? So it's go time, it's go time, man. Baby Camden is on the way, on the way. So y'all keep us in your prayers, man. Thank y'all for the support. And uh, hey, why y'all there? Just hit the button. Hit the button, man. Hit the button. I appreciate it, man. We'll see y'all on the side, all right? Want to? Want to? Yeah. <laughs>
It is day two. It was a, um, yesterday was a day, but um, I'm sure you got to see some footage of. Oh, I wonder where. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> I do. Um, yeah, yeah. Yesterday was a day. I was so glad for the delivery to be done. I am going to do a separate video talking about our birth story um, and my experience with a C-section. So be on the lookout with that. I may say I may say some things, you know, during this vlog because obviously it, we're here. But I'm going to save many of the details for that video. So be on the lookout for that. But um, it was interesting to say the least. I have lots of thoughts and things to say. Outside of that, um, the hospital has been wonderful, very accommodating, extremely nice, like just super accommodating. And I think from my first experience um, giving birth and it was at another hospital, same uh, umbrella, but it was a very different experience. So we're super happy about that. Um, Camden is doing really, really, really well. Um, he's doing great. We, I've been attempting to uh, breastfeed him, and he's been receptive to that. So that's awesome and a sort of semi first for me um, because with Buki, I ended up exclusively pumping.
same little boogie. <laughs> Keep calling him boogie. <laughs> back in the room that was the nurse that well clearly you just saw what happened um i think you did but our camden got his first bath and we wanted to um record that he's about to go in for his circumcision um and they wanted to make sure he was bathed before that because they don't like to keep getting it wet right after so um my doctor is going to be performing it and so I'm feeling good about that. And yeah, but um, I can't remember what I was saying. Um, either way, we're here day two. Charles is here. <laughs> and um, I'm feeling good. Um, pain medicine is working. I'm almost um, not looking forward to, well, I, I mean, hopefully it's not as bad. I think they try to prep you and warn you about, you know, how bad it could be. But I've been strongly advised several times, just stay on top of my pain uh, management regimen, even once I get home. I don't want to wait until you're in pain to manage it. Um, and that's a big part of you know helping with recovery um i don't know i'm struggling with the i won't go to tmi on this vlog but like i said i'm going to do a separate video on my c-section experience <clears throat> and if you want to know the nitty-gritty details i will definitely be sharing in that video outside of that everything is good oh i think i was saying camden was doing really well um very healthy a couple things we're learning about him he has a very serious face right now he hates being cold um he's doing really well for starting out um with breastfeeding i'm proud of him i'm uh, proud of me um uh, i am gonna try to pump today at I'm some point uh, my husband is proud of me and yeah um that's all i have right now i just realized we didn't probably didn't get i didn't pull the camera back out um yesterday after after the birth and um yeah we just took some time to enjoy our son enjoy everything and just kind of relax 
like I said, the hospital staff has been super, super accommodating. Everybody's been so nice. Um, I hope that continues throughout. Um, I don't see any reason why it shouldn't, but we're all good. So hopefully we get some more highlight moments to show you. Um, you'll, of course, see more Camden. Um, I'm still debating on whether or not I'm going to have um, Buki come to the hospital. Um, or if he's just going to wait until we get home to meet him. I'm on the fence about it right now. I have made a decision. So we'll see what happens. Um, I'll probably need to make a decision to, by tomorrow morning, I guess. Mm. We'll be here at least one or two more days. Probably two more days. So, yeah. Alright, any... Any words, Father? Just grateful, thankful. Mm -hmm. Healthy baby, healthy wife, everything good. Yeah. All right. I like that note. Mm -hmm. Hello guys, it is, what is today, Wednesday, <laughs> and uh, we're doing well, good news, we're doing so well that we may, oh I know it's that time, that's why I'm getting ready for you, um, doing so well we may be able to get discharged today instead of having to wait till tomorrow, um, I would like to go home, <laughs> but I also just want to make sure I'm good and clear here with my doctor. I'm supposed to speak with my OB today, um, see what, where we go from here, but there's a strong possibility that we may go home this afternoon. Um, Camden had his hearing test today, he passed, yay, and um, yeah, so, so far so good. It's been pretty uneventful aside from you know trying to um breastfeed and sleep and just be here in this room so um yeah that's all i wanted to come on here and say if we get to go home today i mean sure you'll see that but if we don't get to go home until tomorrow then it'll be tomorrow but um that's it we did get to um well we have been facetiming with um buki and we showed him it was so funny we showed him um camden on facetime and we were like here's camden and he said and then he went back to playing with his <laughs> stuff so it's gonna be interesting when we come home so where he puts it all together um so excited for that all right i'll be back But we are on our way home. We got the treat of being discharged early. Yay! Um, I must admit, it feels nice to be outside of the hospital in some sunshine and um, just outside. You got the top drop for you. you know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. Bad. Chuck is happy to be outside the hospital. I could tell he was getting very restless. <laughs> he was, to be clear though, he was going to go and spend the night at home with our son, our first son today. But luckily, we're all going home today. So we will all be reunited later. And um, Buki will meet. Right now, we don't have a nickname for Well, we have Cam. That's the only nickname I like for him right now. But something other than Cam. We keep calling him Buki because he looks so much like um, Buki Bear when he was a baby. So it's really hard not to call him a Buki Bear also because he kind of is. So, uh, but we'll get, we'll figure that out as we go. His personality is definitely different so far. <laughs> but um, it's going to be, I'm, I'm excited. And I don't know, it could just be more me because y'all know Buki be giving whatever he want to give at whatever time. But I would, I'm going to love seeing him see the baby <laughs> come home so um yeah and once we do that that'll probably be the end of this vlog i'm not sure how long it is it's probably not that long but um yeah i'll see you excuse me see you when we get home your little brother Boo, you, Boo, you see the baby? Yeah, look, you just gonna keep walking. See Cam, look, this is your brother. This your little brother. Yeah, look. You see Boo, where you going? Get your, get your you see the baby? Your you see your little brother? See your, your brother. brother? Say hi. Say hey. Say hey, Camden. Camden. Yeah, it will. Did you get bigger? Did you he look like he did? Boy, you just he got day. taller. Hey, man. Hey, hey, Camden. This is your brother. This is your brother. Say hey, baby brother. Hey. You say hey to your brother? He's a baby. That's your baby. They have been practicing at school. the next day <laughs> and I'm actually um, going to end this vlog here we're so tired that's the best way I can explain it it's been a it's been a um, I don't say it's been a whirlwind because actually our time at the hospital wasn't like a whirlwind I feel like we were more relaxed at the hospital than we were yesterday I got kind of overwhelmed when I got home and um, it got a little bit hard to sleep in the beginning. I think I just kind of started spiraling a little bit mentally, but I was able to pull it together. I said some prayers and uh, some. I, I, there's some other things I'm saving for my C-section um, video, experience video that I'll talk about there. I don't want to put it out here. But um, also, I think the last piece of footage you saw, maybe... Um, was Buki being introduced to his brother. Yeah, Buki was unbothered when he walked in the house. <laughs> to say the least. Um, but he just kept going. And then after that, we just kind of spent time with family. But he just kept, just to kind of let you know. And you'll see this as we continue to record our journey. But, um. Sorry, baby's over there. But he just kept going back to him and looking at him and just kind of putting it together for himself. Uh, one of the biggest and honestly most overwhelming questions that I've continued to get is, you know, first, is this your first? That's not the overwhelming part. But then, does your son understand? Is he excited? And I'm like, as excited as... I don't know how to tell you a three-year-old understands... Um, completely childbirth and that he's going to have a little brother um every child is different every child's level of comprehension is different even with my niece um she's four me and my sister thought she understood what was going on but 
she also kind of didn't when after talking to her more so it's a very big thing to comprehend so whenever people ask me that i'm just like you know as much as he does understand um he'll put the pieces together when he gets home and that's exactly what he's been doing so he still he identified his brother he knows his name um he kept walking up to him he wasn't like trying to jump all over him or anything like that um also he hadn't seen us since Monday morning so there was just a lot of to to for him to like um you know absorb in that moment but I remember later on that night when we were all getting ready to go to bed it was so cute um I was changing Camden's diaper and um, Buki had gotten up on a chair and he was looking at him as he you know he just keeps coming to look at him and Camden was crying and he said, baby is crying, baby is crying. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, and we keep, instead of him saying baby is crying, because that's what he says when any baby cries, we, you know, replaced it with, you know, Camden or your, bro your brother is crying. He then, but he said, um, it's okay, Camden. And y'all, I about lost it on the inside. It was the cutest thing. And I was like, he does know and he got it and he yeah it was just so cute uh of course i didn't catch it on camera there might be a lot i don't catch on camera right now i cannot move as fast as i usually do right now and we'll talk about that later but i just it was such a cute moment and um we got a couple pictures from um my sister-in-law that she took from him looking at him so i'll probably insert those and that's it so that is where we will leave you right now i probably look the same i haven't taken this bun down since i've been in a hospital so i'm so glad i got these braids um <laughs> that's it for this vlog hope you enjoyed um kind of going along with us on this birth journey and i look forward to actually telling the birth story and um i'll talk to you guys later don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Um, I'm hoping to have more time to dedicate here since we've now had the baby and I'll be on leave. It's partly um, vacation, but you know, I'm, you know, I got a little time hoping if I can get it together. Um, so talk to you guys later. Bye.